Hey folks, my name is Chris Wessel. Um, there's been a bit of chat online and stuff lately about uh, trying to get a hold of some good calf tail. So I decided to do a video um, explaining how you can get the most out of maybe not so perfect calf tail. Um, really, when you're looking for like really good calf tail um, for bombers and, and stuff like that, you, uh, you know, you want to have straight stuff, but that only really applies to tires that are commercial tying because it saves time instead of having to manually stack it. To be honest, I prefer my bombers with this crinkly kind of fur because they they do actually seem to fish better. Um, but for me to pick this out and straighten it every time is, is very time consuming. I'm not a commercial tire. I do uh, tie for other people and stuff and I give a lot of flies away. So I look for straight calf tail, but for a recreational tire, like just Hopefully this will help you out um, if you do get some cap tail that's not so perfect. So as you can see here, um, basically a not so perfect calf tail is something that's like really crinkly. And basically that crinkly, crinkliness, I don't even know if that's a word, um, it, it prevents this from stacking properly. So first thing I do is I cut off the clump I'm going to use and I pulled out this short fur that's at the bottom while gripping this really tightly and just kind of pull some of that out and I'm going to put it in my stacker what's going to come out of this side is not going to be ideal it's still like you have some flatness but I know there's fibers trapped down in there and that has to do with how crinkly that fiber is it's not allowing the other fibers to slip down so basically what I do is I grip the very tip of this clump tightly and with my other hand I just pull this apart and I'll lay down that because I know that that's fairly straight. The stuff that I pulled out I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to grip tightly and I'm going to pull out and basically you're separating the different layers that you're getting that's not actually lining up well and then you take your last one and put it there and you line it all up and then you put it together again you can pull out a stray hair if it's there put it in your stacker and you restack it so you can see why a commercial tire wants to go for a straight hair because it's time consuming to have to restack your calf tail uh, a few times to get it perfectly but if you look, that turned out really well and you would have no problem tying a nice bomber with that edge and its fibers coming all the way down through. Um, this is one method I use if I'm just tying a couple bombers for myself and I do have some cap tail that's not so perfect. Um, this works fabulous. So I hope that helped. Um, you know, don't worry about getting straight calf tail. Whatever you get, you can work with. It's just you got to use different means of stacking it when you do it. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, up next, I think we're going to try using a straightener to straighten your calf tail beforehand. Thank you. So uh, this second method we use to straighten out uh, or deal with some uh, not so good calf tail, which would be calf tail that we would, um, you know, really crinkly, very hard to stack. Uh, the first method we talked about was um, just restacking and separating uh, fibers. That's usually what I go for every time. Uh, but there is also another method that I'm not really familiar with, but uh, I did try it and it worked, so why not talk about it? Um, I stole my wife's hair straightener and um, I was warned that if I ruin it, I gotta buy her a new one. But anyway, uh, so I use a pretty high setting with this. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to come over this calf tail and I'm just gonna stroke the area, applying quite a bit of pressure. And just keep going over it until you start seeing those 
five restraining note and this may end up being really hard to see on video I don't know but um, I will tell you that it does work I've heard from tires and anglers that this will go back to being crinkly once it gets wet I guess it's not so different than somebody's hair <laughs> if they use a hair straightener but um, you know if, if you just want something nice and in, in, uh, straight to tie in on a bomber or whatever you're using it for then this will do the job so I'll do it a little bit more you don't want to leave it in a spot too long though because it could damage the calf tail but if you can't see it, I, I'm 100% seeing a huge difference between what it was before I used this straightener. So I'm gonna put this away, hopefully not burn myself. And we're gonna just come in and that, that, that's really straight. So that's a straightened area we just did. And this would be an area that we haven't straightened. And we'll just try stack, stacking a clump of this now. That's not it. You see a lot of people looking for straight calf tail and you can appreciate why a commercial tire is picky over their calf tail because this is time consuming and if you're a commercial tire, uh, you really don't have time to do this. But for anybody that's rec recreational tying, um, honestly, don't sweat if you have bad calf tail. I, I'm showing you two ways you can still do with it, deal with it. And I use it all the time for my own flies. So you still have to do a little bit of separating, but this is uh, a world of difference from what it was. So we just kind of lined up all the tips there. We're going to put them back together again. And we're going to restack that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that's going to make a gorgeous uh, bomber wing. So that's our tips there. Guys, you really can't complain about that. So, don't worry about bad calf tail anymore. Um, you know, it is what it is. It, it's always better to have straight, but if, if you get bad stuff in the mail, you can't always be in the fly shop hand picking your calf tails. Um, so, this is how you deal with it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, Hit the subscribe button if uh, you do like my content, but if you uh, don't hit the subscribe button, I'm just happy to have you guys along and I'm happy to be showing you some of the tips I've learned along the way. Thank you very much and have a good day.